Hey, what's good, comic fans? This is Comfire Comics, and we're here to talk about Will Bizarro show up in Batman v Superman. I'm Comfire Rich. I'm Comfire Nate. And real fast, just to give people that might say, who's Bizarro? Okay, um, before the new 52, Bizarro was a clone, an, an actual perfect clone that, super, that uh, Lex Luthor made of Superman. Um, and when he didn't work out the way Lex Luthor wanted him to, he tried to dispose of him, um, and that caused him to look kind of deformed. That's why when a lot of times you see a picture of Rosario, you get this kind of weird deformed looking mm -hmm. version, um, of Superman. And then in the new 52, he was still again, a clone, but Lex Luthor pulled him out of the chamber sooner, five years sooner than he was supposed to be completed. So he came out dumb and kind of deformed again. So just in case you're wondering who Bizarro is, that's who he is. All right, sounds good. So we, we've seen a couple trailers now, and there's a few scenes in these trailers that just kind of leave you scratching your head a little bit like, that's kind of curious and uncharacteristic of Batman. You know, Nate, run down, we're going to run down with like three reasons why we feel like Bizarro might be making an appearance. And so, Nate, run over reason number one. The red capes are coming. The red capes are coming. Yeah, um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while because I kind of got the speculation and slowly but surely it keeps building. The first thing I saw that kind of made me think was in the very first trailer, um, you have Lex Luthor talking and he's basically saying the red capes are coming. He goes, mm -hmm. the red capes are coming. Okay, first thing I'm thinking, all right, who's he talking about? All right, red capes is plural. There's only Superman. Who else is wearing a red cape? Right. I mean, most people probably been thought, well, okay, capes. I'm th he's thinking Batman and Superman fight. Yeah, but Batman doesn't wear a red cape. So what is he talking about? I doubt that they're gonna. He's gonna use that as a reference referring to him, Batman and Superman. I believe he's probably referring to another Superman, um, and that is the clone that we will find out to be Bizarro. Yeah, because I didn't pick up on that. Like you heard it, and like, oh, the red capes are coming. The red capes are coming. We'll probably play the clip or already have, but. You know, I didn't pick up on that, but that makes that actually is kind of logical. Like, why is it plural? So that's the reason number one. What's reason number two? Reason number two are just small little pieces of clips that you see throughout both of the trailers. Um, you have moments where you see Superman kind of have this look on his face of anger and hate and disgust. Um, even from the origin from Man of Steel, we know Superman's not running around with this constant scowl on his face mm -hmm. of anger. Um, and there's these moments, and one of them, again, is when in the first trailer where he's bowing down from Lex, and Lex kind of touching him, and the way he's touching him, it's almost as if, like, he created it, like a, like, ah, oh, this is mine kind of thing, yeah. and it comes across, and he looks up at him in anger. I can't help from think that in that moment, that is bizarre, that is not Superman. It, it helps make that... If this is true, and this is all speculation, by the way, I mean, from, from we're looking at trailer clips, I mean, it couldn't mean anything, but... If you look at it with that mindset, that helps that scene make a little bit of sense. Like, why is Batman kneeling? You know, you, there, there's been people say... Superman. Superman. Uh, what did I say? Batman? Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Uh, uh, Superman. Why is Superman uh, kneeling down like that? And it's like, does he have something that is forcing Superman to do that? Is it mind control? Like, we just thought it was really weird. Um, but if it's Bizarro, well, that that makes sense as well. What's I mean, reason you, number you three? Him, oh, I'm sorry. Lex with... Lois. So you think, oh, of course, he took Lois and mm -hmm. he made Superman do, a, do his bidding. But that could be the case. Okay, again, this is all speculation. But it's this constant theme of him looking angry throughout the thing that I believe is why I believe some of those scenes are of Bizarro and not of Superman. All right, and now reason number three. If man won't kill God, the devil will do it. Okay, reason number three is, again, part of the trailers. It's a part of the second trailer, a clip, where you see Lex basically talking about, um, I think the exact word he says is, you know, if, if man won't destroy God, then the devil will do it. When he mm -hmm. says that, he's, you know, he's got his, uh, his lab coat on, basically looking like he's in, in the process of creating what we all know to be doomsday. In the background, you have Superman standing there, hands crossed like he's being a part of it, okay? Right. I don't think Superman is going to be a part of anything crazy like that. So that's, even if, even if, that's the thing. He's not going to be standing there overwatching the situation, not doing anything, even if 
he's having to listen to Lex. So I feel like in this scene, that person you see in the background is Bizarro. That is not Superman. Um, right. And this would make sense for them to kind of play this out because Lex could then in turn use this fake Superman to pit Batman against Superman because that is what he's ultimately, I would feel like he's wanting like to Like he's do. wanting to bring Batman over to, to take the two on. And then that's when he says, if man doesn't do it, God, he's like, my first plan didn't work. Let's let's create dooms there. So I, I, you know, again, speculation, but again, it can make sense because in that scene, Batman is very cooperative, right? He's not restrained. He doesn't seem to be in pain from kryptonite. He's just standing there. Yeah, and it's and not I mean, a clip of words. It's not a play of words. Like you look at Lex Luthor's mouth, and he does say in that scene with Batman Hanna, "Then the devil will do it." Right. Um, so it's not something they clip together just for the trailer. And you also another thing is you also notice throughout that when Batman and Superman are fighting, you see moments where where Batman punches Superman, you know, in his suit, which you can only um, assume is sometimes infused with some type of kryptonite. Mm-hmm. And we know that we see kryptonite again from the first trailer when Lex Luthor is looking in and sees a giant piece of kryptonite. So we know kryptonite is going to have a play in this. Um, Batman hits him and he bleeds. How hard would it be for? him to pit Batman against Superman, go to where the fight was, get a sample of the blood, and make a clone. I mean, it's all there. Is it going to be... I mean, we don't know. This might... It might not be the case. This might be... We might be reaching here. Um, but again, yeah, I feel fun. like there's something to it. Yeah, speculation's fun. That's what we're going to do until the movie comes out because we're excited to see the movie. This isn't facts or anything like that. We're just having fun with this. And it's, it's plausible, bottom line. Because it could happen. So... Guys, that's it. What do you guys think, man? Is Bizarro going to make an appearance? You know, everybody was flipping out about the trailer that we've seen the whole movie. What if Bizarro is a nice little, you know, thing to throw in and throw everybody off track, have him in there? Do you think he's going to be in the movie? Look, you know, like, comment, subscribe. We got some other awesome videos coming out uh, pertaining to Batman v Superman and, and a lot of other stuff. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those other videos. And until next time, we out. Later.